We're back. Tech team has been on its hiatus for a while, eager to get back to the news. There's so much to catch up on. Let's start with the calendar of events. Hello, Garner Elementary. I'm here to update you on all the happenings around our school. This Wednesday is Dress Like Your Hero Day. Will you dress like Superman, a firefighter, your mom or dad, perhaps Wonder Woman? The biggest day this week is Friday. Friday marks the end of the second trimester. That means report cards and conferences will be coming up soon after. We will also have our pride coupon drawing this Friday. Have you been following the pride matrix and earning coupons? Remember, we have to fill up that huge box with coupons in order to earn an all-school prize. Friday is also the day that you need to turn in your reading logs. We must all work together to defeat Dr. Don't Read. Everyone, get reading! Now back to our anchors. Now that we've taken a look at what is to come, let's take a recap of what's happened over the few weeks. Our reporter has the scoop on some big events at our school. Let me help you catch up with all the important news that's been happening recently at Gardner. First, congratulations to Miss Carabas's class. They played they played hard and are now the fourth grade floor hockey champs. They won the championship in an exciting game against Miss Ely's class. They won overtime six to five. Next, second graders perform the Beatles musical at the high school and Gardner Elementary. They sang songs like Yellow Summer Moon, Hey Jude, and Let It and Let It Be. They also got to go on a field trip to the Whiting Auditorium to hear the Flint Youth Symphony Orchestra. They heard awesome music and got to learn about the instruments in an orchestra. First graders also went on on a field trip. They went they went to the planetarium and saw a show about outer space. They learned about the sun, the moon, and the earth. They got to see constellations and take a trip to the moon. They also got to go to classrooms where they learn about the phases of the moon. Finally, remember March is Reading Month. Our theme this year is Reading Gives You Superpowers. Last week, we had an assembly where we met Captain Reading Pants and the evil doctor Don't Read. Make sure you are reading at home and putting those minutes on your reading log. We must help Captain Reading Pants defeat that villain. We have had some really nice days recently, but we've also had some really wet and cold days. What kind of days will we have this week? Let's find out. Did you pack your sunglasses or your winter hats? Here's the forecast for the week. Monday, high 45, low 36, mostly cloudy. Tuesday, high 46, low 31, sh and rain showers. Wednesday, high 40, and low 28, snow showers. Thursday, high 39, low 27, partly cloudy. Friday, high 40, and low 29, partly cloudy. Back to the anchor desk. 
As we come to the end of this week's broadcast, we'd like to do a special story on a really important global event that finished up recently. We are talking about the Winter Olympics that were held in South Korea. America took fourth place. The USA had 23 medals. Let's take a, mo let's take a moment and to learn about Tech Team's favorite Winter Olympians. Chloe Kim is my favorite Winter Olympian. She is a snowboarder. Her birthday is on April 23rd, 2000. She is 17 years old. She won a gold medal this year in ladies' half pipe. One Winter Olympian is Amanda Cassell. She is 165 centimeters tall and is an ice hockey player for the USA. She is 26 years old. She has even suffered a concussion before playing in the 2014 Winter Games. Sean White is my favorite Winter Olympian. He is 31 years old and he competes in snowboarding. He won a gold medal in the half pipe this year. My favorite Olympian is Maya Shibatani. She is a figure skater and she won three bronze medals this year. She's from Ann Arbor, Michigan. Her nickname is Shib Shibs. She trains 50 hours a week. That's all we have time for this week. Remember to be positive, respectful, independent, dependable, and engaged. Until next time, believe, achieve, succeed. The key is me. Bye, guys. Bye. Oh, never.